for sticking along with us here on Mass and All Access. Really lucky to have Justine Siegel sitting next to me, a pioneer really as a girl in baseball your entire life. So thank you so much for the time. Oh, pleasure to be here. What's going on? How are you? I'm good. I mean, the winter meetings, the buzz is just electric and it's just full of opportunities. So for people who maybe aren't familiar with Justine, you've done a lot of work in Major League Baseball. I mean, you helped out in Instructional League for the A's through BP and then you said the Indians have sent you to scout school. You now have baseball for all, and that's really just helping empowering girls and getting into baseball. How did you come up with this baseball for all? Well, when I was 13, I was the first time I was told I should quit baseball because I was a girl. It didn't matter my skill level, and that felt wrong, so I decided I'd play forever. And I kept playing baseball, and then when I had my own daughter, Jasmine, I thought, I want to build a better future. And so what eventually became baseball for all, it's where not a nonprofit for girls to play, coach, and lead. And we're creating girls' baseball communities around the country. And you have some ties in the Maryland and D.C. area. You're trying to continuously grow baseball for all this incredible nonprofit. Why this region in particular? Well, first of all, you know, Orioles yeah. fans and Nationals fans, they're pretty excited yes. and heated, and we, we want them. Uh, my mother's also from Silver Springs, so I, I go into the area regularly. But uh, DC Girls Baseball has formed, and it's a, an incredible girls baseball organization, and they're doing great things, so any girl in the DC area could play. And Rockville Baseball Association, uh, I just did a clinic for them, and they're also building a girls baseball program. So it's actually a really exciting area to be in. So exciting. How much have you seen girls baseball grow, even over the past few years? Oh, absolutely. So Baseball for All held the first National Girls Baseball Tournament 2015, and we had um, 12 teams. And this past year, our national tournament had 28 teams, wow. 280 girls, and we expect another 100 girls for the following year. When your daughter asks you about baseball for all, what do you tell her as an athlete and maybe a girl that wants to play baseball? Yeah, for sure. Well, my daughter didn't want to play baseball, okay. but she knows she can do anything, that nothing can stop her. And that's the real message behind baseball for all. I want to, I want to hear about, honestly, you're such a pioneer in baseball as a female. You were the first female to be a coach, really, in Major League Baseball with an organization. How did you get started within Major League Baseball? Sure. So I coached three years at uh, Springfield College while I was pursuing my PhD in sports psychology. And I ended up coaching um, in 2011. 2009, I became the first woman to coach pro baseball for the Brockton Rocks in the Can-Am League. And then I met uh, Billy Bean here at the winter meetings, wow. actually, and I said, can I throw BP? And he said yes. So then I went back to the Indians and I said, look, I want to make history with you. I'm from Cleveland. And um, the Indians said yes, and I ended up throwing batting practice in 2011, becoming the first woman. And I threw to the A's, the Indians, the Astros, Mets, Cardinals. Uh, and the Rays. So that all happened from the winter meetings. Wow, so this is pretty cool. Something special when you come to winter meetings now. It is for me. I came first as a job seeker to network and then you know you meet Joe Madden and Billy Bean and magic happens. <laughs> Look at that picture right there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it was a true dream come true and from there um, the A's I coached with them in the Instructional League in 2015 and with uh, Team Israel in the World Baseball Classic Qualifier in, in 16 and picking up coaching jobs wherever I can, whether that's indie ball or affiliated. Pretty amazing. And pitching is your specialty. Pitching is what I love, but I have to admit, I spent a lot of time in the first base box, but pitching is my, your passion? my heart. Yeah. Okay. Now, as we're sitting here today, I know you have baseball for all and your hands are quite full. If you could land a dream job in Major League Baseball today, what would it be? I think my, my dream job would be to coach, coach full time, wake up every morning, put my uniform on. Um, I really enjoy helping players reach their goals and I'm, I'm good at it. I get to combine that sports psychology degree uh, with all the baseball knowledge I have and all the perseverance and, and players respect that. It's, it's a good trifold of things that make you a successful player and a coach. And, and not only as a coach, baseball for all, what's your end goal for the next few years for girls in baseball? Sure, our end goal is to have girls baseball all around the country so any girl can sign up at baseballforall.com and to see girls baseball become a, the same legit reality as uh, the boys currently have with, with their regular leagues. And of course, we support co -ed baseball that's happening, uh, but we'd also like to see girls baseball become an opportunity from age seven on up through college. Incredible work, I love it. As a female, I've really enjoyed having you sit here. I know all our viewers loved it too. Justine Siegel, a true uh, pioneer in baseball for girls. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.